Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Hi everybody, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to begin chapter seven, work and power. Okay, work and power. Work is going to be the bridge between Newton's second law and energy, which we have not defined yet. So let's first of all start off by defining work. So as we have a force, F, that acting on a particle, and it gives a particle a displacement, dr. The work is F dot dr. Now the work is a scalar, clearly, in this case, because it's a dot product of two vectors. If we want to compute the total work done by a force, force field or vector field, in moving a particle from a point P1 to a point P2, that will just, along a given path C, very important at the moment, that will just be the line integral of f dot dr along that path. And remember, we have different notations that we'll use in different circumstances. So r1 would be the position vector of the point p1. r2 would be the position vector of the point p2. OK, generally, the F will be the net force acting on a particle, but it could be a particular component of the total force acting on a particle. That may sound a bit confusing, but it will be clear from the context, and I elaborated a bit on that in the paragraph that I just squiggled to the left of. Okay, Summerfield. You know I like the little book on mechanics of Summerfield. His words about work are, I think, particularly enlightening. Work does not equal force times distance, as people will often say. But component of force, remember it's a dot product and we're dealing with vectors, component of force along the path times the path length, or force times component of path length along force. Now. This trivial example illustrates that, and trivial examples can often be very useful. Okay, we have a displacement, a constant displacement vector, and we have an applied force that's also a constant. So we want to um, compute the work done by this force moving a particle along this displacement, or displacing the particle this amount. So if we think about what Sommerfeld said, we have a displacement, we have a force, and the component of force along the displacement would just be the magnitude of force, the component of force along the displacement times the length of displacement. That would just be F, the dot product of these two, F dot R in this case. OK, think about this trivial example. Think about the definition of work, and think about the words of Sommerfeld. OK, here's another example. Find the work done in moving a particle ar once around a circle C in the xy plane, the circle is fixed at the origin with radius 3, and the force is given by this expression. It has an i, j, and a k component, but we want the displacement to be just in the xy plane. A couple of little wrinkles here.
the xy plane has z equals 0. So the force in the xy plane, we, we give, we're given the general force field, but we have to set z equals 0, but it still has a component in the k direction. So we compute f dot dr. dr is the displacement is in the xy plane, so that would be just dxi plus dyj. We compute the dot product, and we get this. Now we want to integrate it around the circle. We need to parameterize the circle. Um, remember our discussion of line integrals. Writing it down formally like this is fine, but we need to compute it. So we need to give an expression for the path that's compatible with the expression for the vector field. So x equal 3 cosine t, y equal 3 sine t is a, the parameterization of a circle in the xy plane with radius 3. And then in that case, uh, t would vary from 0 to 2 pi, will take us all the way around the circle. dx would be 3 minus sine t dt. dy would be 3 cosine t dt. We plug this in reparameterizing the, vec the uh, integral, do the integral, and we get a number. So the main thing I want to get across is setting up the integral right, then you can all do these simple integrals. Okay, that's work. We're going to see a lot of it in the rest of this course. And that's all for now. In the next lecture, I will talk about the rate of doing work, or power. So bye for now.